Hi, my name is Charlotte Wilcock and I'm going to talk to you about my digital detox that I did. I decided to do it on a Sunday because I thought I wouldn't have to compromise any like, responsibilities such as like lectures and going to work and things like that. So me and my boyfriend decided to go to Tatton Park for the day so try and get involved in nature and avoid all possible media. Uh, but the day actually started late because none of, neither of us had our phones to wake us up which normally had the alarm on so we woke up like two hours late. Um, then we decided to get ready and I soon realised that this wasn't going to be a media free day at all because it wasn't possible. For example I got downstairs to have some breakfast and I had some Kellogg's cornflakes and there was like a logo on the Kellogg's cornflakes box. Then I went to a shower, Herbal Essences shampoo and it had the logo on the shampoo. So you can't avoid all pieces of media, it's not actually possible. But I did it to the best of my ability. Um, so after we were all ready, the first problem we had was neither of us knew how to get to Tatham Park, which is in Cheshire, which is like a 40 minute drive from where I was. So unfortunately we had have had to use my sat nav to get there, um, which is obviously a bit of media, but we had to use it otherwise I would not have a clue how to get there. Um, as we were on the motorway we saw so much media again, this is me trying to avoid media. And I saw like so many logos, like BMW logos, Ferrari logos, Ford logos, um, you know, all these different types of companies. So I saw like Sky vans, um, and I saw like BM and Bargains, big vans, so there's logos everywhere. Um, once we arrived, turned apart, we arrived and we were quite late and we didn't know what time it was because neither of us have a watch and normally when we want to know the time we just check our phones and it would say what time it is but we couldn't do that so we knew we got there late and we just had some lunch and then as soon as we finished lunch we had to ask somebody every time we knew what the time was and we actually got a few funny looks off people when we did ask what the time was as like people were a bit taken back as to why we were asking the time when we just check it ourselves on our phone so some people give us actually funny looks but we had to continuously ask because we knew the farm closed at like five I think the garden just shut at six something like that so to keep checking um, as we were going around the park we realised there was like Helly Hansen logos Abercrombie & Fitch logos all over people's clothes we had an ice cream at the end of the day which had a Cornetto and a Magnum logo on it it was like impossible not to avoid logos um, at the end of the day, Harry then went home and I really struggled with something called nomophobia. So it's like the fear of being out of contact with your phone and it was really hard. <laughs> like I actually, even though my phone was turned off, kept like picking it up to check it. But obviously because it, it was off, nothing was coming on. So I was like picking it up as if I was programmed to do so. Um, and at night time I felt really isolated because obviously I had nothing to do. My family were in the living room next door, watching Brilliant It's Got Talent, which I obviously couldn't do. So I think I went to bed at something like 9.30 or something really early, whereas I normally go to bed at like half 12, one-ish, so it was really different to how I would normally end the day. Um, the next day started very differently, much more familiar waking up with my phone alarm waking me up at a normal time. Um, when I got up I ended up doing some revision and on my phone I have an app on my phone which reminds me of things I need to do so if I have like a really bad memory so if I ever forget things I normally put a reminder on my phone uh, because my phone was turned off on the Sunday on the Monday when I turned it on all these backlog of reminders came up and I was like oh I've got to email this person I've got to call this person there's all these different things that I forgot to do because I didn't have media and so I guess the alternative would be to use like sticky notes and I did have to do that on the Sunday like I, whilst we were at the park I was like oh I need to do this when I get home, I need to do that when I get home and I wrote a sticky note and I lost it so it wasn't very good but then obviously all these things came up and I just remembered that I needed to do them um, then as the day progressed I went shopping and there were so many logos, of course, they were at shopping centre with the big rather than the new look that we actually may have saw them type of things. Then I went to work 
and I must have used the phone just over 10 times to contact various customers. Again, customers when they came in to where I work, which is a swimming pool, uh, customers were wearing Speedo, uh, Roxy, sports brands basically, um, all logos all over the place. I also realised that media is an extension of the arm because I used, first of all, Skype to contact my boyfriend Harry and he was in London and then I used my phone to contact my friend Rachel who's in Leeds so it was def it wouldn't be possible a hundred or so maybe two yeah about 150 years ago I'd actually had to walk or travel to Leeds or travel to London to speak to them so it's like an extension of my body instead of me having to travel there I was able to just use my phone to speak to them or Skype to speak to them I actually realised at the end of the day you can't do a detox, it's literally impossible. So, like I mentioned earlier, even just brushing your teeth, you come into contact with the Colgate logo, even just having some juice, you would come into contact with Robinson's Orange Juice logo, everything has got a logo on it. I don't think there's anything these days that doesn't have a logo on, I can't think of anything. Um, and. I actually felt a bit more disconnected the second day. Even though I had the media, I actually felt more disconnected than I did the day before. So the day before, I was having to speak to people about asking what the time there was. I actually, we got on the train at Pleasant Park, which took you from like various locations if you didn't want to walk. So we got on the train from the farm to the gardens and I actually spoke to people on the train. Like, that's such a strange thing to do. but. And people were a bit taken back as well at first. People were talking to each other because people don't normally do that. So, for example, like if you go on like London Tube, it's silence because everybody's on their phone, on the tablet, on the iPhone. You just don't speak on the tube. But on the day when I did Emma Media, we and my family were all sat at home, and I think we were watching Gogglebox, so we were watching TV about people who are watching TV. And whereas. I was sat there on like a phone game, so some game on my phone, I can't remember what it was now. My mum and dad don't normally use their phones half as much as I do, so they were like talking about the programme they were watching. So even though it was like a media related conversation, they were still having a conversation, but I was like sat here like on my phone, not really engaging. So I actually felt more disconnected in a sense, and I actually enjoyed it, not having my phone on me all the time. Um, in saying that though, I think I used Facebook, I think it was something like 50 times in total on the day, on the second day. I think I checked my emails just over 20 times and my text messages about 10 times. So I think Facebook was the hardest one because I was constantly like, what are my updates? And I think I have an account for me and an account for my work account as well, so I manage the business. So customers are like, 10 customers to answer to the next day and different group reports which I had to catch up on on Facebook because obviously I do coursework with other people at groups in marketing and film so I had to catch up on the conversations what was going on so it's a strange when you feel disconnected and connected at the same time with media so you just have to be wary of how to use it and how not to use it thank you for listening bye bye